Hello. In this video, we will begin to discuss the questions that we should ask ourselves in order to analyze media messages. As we mentioned, analyzing means looking at something carefully to understand it. Although there are certainly many things to think about when we see or hear media messages, the Center for Media Literacy created five specific questions to help guide you. In this video, we will focus on the first three questions. The first question is, who created the message that is being sent? The second question is, what techniques were used to attract my attention? And the third question is, how might other people understand or interpret this message differently from me? Let's look at question one. Who created the message that is being sent? The key word in this question is create it. To create means to make or build. All media messages are made by people. Those people make choices about what to include in the message and what not to include. For example, when you look at a newspaper article, often there is a picture at the top. Someone chose that picture. There were many other pictures to choose from, but someone chose that exact one. Also, when you watch a television show, you might see a 15 second video clip. The complete video might be 25 minutes long, but someone decided that that 15 second clip was enough to include. The images and videos we see and the words that we read tell us a story. It is important to think about what choices were made and how it affects or changes the story we are told. Let's move on to the second question. What techniques were used to attract my attention? A technique is the manner or method in which something is done. When the media creates a message, they use certain techniques to capture the attention of their audience. Think about a recent advertisement you saw. What made it interesting? Oftentimes, the media uses humor or comedy to attract people to their message. They also use certain symbols or words. The media can also choose certain colors or images to attract people as well. The goal is for you, as a viewer, to continue to read or watch the media message. The third question we should ask ourselves is how might other people understand or interpret this message differently from me? Even if two people see exactly the same message, they may understand or interpret that message differently. Why? People understand messages differently because each person interprets messages based on age, culture, gender, and beliefs. Think about a website or advertisement you have seen. If you showed it to your mother or father, would he or she react to it exactly the same way you did? What if you showed it to a friend from another country? What you think about that website or ad might not be the same thing that your parent or friend thinks. In the next video, we will look at the last two questions you should ask to analyze media messages.